Adam and Wax show. Hey, yo, no, wait, 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 wait. Oh, no, no, bro, hold on. Remember the deal? What? Every other show? Uh, Wack and Adam show. The no, wow, that's the wah wah show. No, every they know wah 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 with a young lady, you said hi to me, and then you walk away for like 15 minutes, and you come out, your whole face is dripping in sweat. <laughs> the lies he tell. I heard there was Listen. a turd on the couch. I heard, Yo, heard your booty might have Since you want to talk about it. What? <clears throat> I definitely went to the back. Ooh, he admits it. I went did to the you, back. Did you hit your pose? No, 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 no. <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> I went to the back of the back. Ooh, you hit the back back. Oh, yeah, the back, no, not the, the back. The back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were bicking back. Well, you got strap on. Oh, come on. I seen the box. It's not for me, No, 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 no. Come I on, come I seen the box, strap on. Dips. Since you want to talk about it, hold on. You Keep got it real. White, hold on. You got white lubricant. Why did your lubricant? That's how you know I seen it. Then you got this mother long, two-ended, dry dip. Then you got a f whole closet of sh that's locked. Why is anything locked? I don't even want to know what's in there. Chips, dips, change, whips. I don't know. Then you got a bed stood up with stains on it. <laughs> Listen. Leather it's strap strictly for the ladies. Do you or do you not have a leather strap on deal? Honestly, I don't know. Does I'm your not, wife wear I'm not looking at Does the your fucking... Wife wear at the Stores. Well, how about this? They're not for me. Hold on, y'all. Why I'm are you assuming I'm getting penetrated no, no, just because you get penetrated? No, 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 no. Listen. Ugh. Whack ain't never been penetrated or infiltrated. Well, welcome to this podcast. Listen, but check this out. How about this? Uh -oh. The mother be faking, y'all. He has a, a machine that's a pumper machine. So he's sticking a little rod on the machine. The machine's like a hydraulic pump. And this mother in the back saying, oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, baby. She moaning from the getting hit by the machine. You turned it on? What you mean? You turned on the sex oh, machine? Listen. Yuck. Fired it up to the third I'm about to year. fire you up. So, Adam, <laughs> what's going on? Is this the reason why you hired your brother? Have you ever heard this? Is it true that you paid him 150000 Girls just want to have fun. No, 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 no. It has nothing but to do with me. why are you faking like you putting in the work? I am putting in work, but sometimes I need a little help. The work. Sometimes we got girl-girl action going on. You think I'm rocking the strap-on? They're rocking the strap-ons for each other. I'm saying they ain't strapping on for you, though, bro. Like, please tell me that ain't. Because you be trying, bro. Do you want me to bend over and show no. you my asshole right now? It has never had anything bigger than a pinky finger in it. Wait, wait. Bigger than a pinky finger? I was 16. I put my pinky finger in my ass in the shower. Wait, oh, you know your girlfriend left. What the? F <laughs> Yo, she can't handle the truth. Listen, so let me get this right. <laughs> wow, what made you do that? I mean, this was like the Jackass era. This was like the CKY era. I thought I was Bam, bro. So what made you want to put your pinky finger? I wanted to see if it hurt or how it would feel. So did you do it more than once? I think I only did it once. I was did 16. You, you told somebody? You told one of your buddies, like, hey, I put my pinky in my I remember I posted about it on a message board at the time, and everybody was tweaking out. I didn't even think it was gay. I didn't think it was weird. Do you think it's weird now? Not really, not knowing everything I know now. So have you graduated to the thumb? I've left my ass alone for, like, the past 23 years. All right, man, listen, let's. What about I, you? I, I, what I about just, you? Hey, I rooster to rooster. What I about you? Brown, bro. No? Mm. Around. What is with your obsession with my sex life and my asshole, no. it would seem? Like the asshole really seemed like it got you moving. got your blood no, no, rate no, up, heart rate up. The last time I was back here, I was interviewing with you. So now when I came here last week and you telling me, they like, I'm like, yo, where Adam at? Oh, he's in the back filming the scene. I'm like, oh, who, who is he interviewing? Oh, no, they got a sex scene. What the f 
fuck you talking about? Oh, they got a whole room set up in the back. Why are you acting like this is news to you? When the last podcast we did, I was sitting there talking about how I still had apple juice on my face. No, that's when I found I out. I walked right on over. I found out last week. We don't shoot there all the time. Just I didn't go the back there. I didn't go back there last week because I thought, like, you know. But this week, you were in your office chilling. I'm like, all right, ain't nobody back there. The door was open. I figured, like, it, it, it aired out. Been a week. Let me ask you something. Just saying, bro. What if I get you to review some of my tape, some of my footage? Not and you let happen. me know what you think of my stroke. Not going to happen. Really? Why not? I don't f- with swore fights, bro. I thought we were boys. No, I like we you, are. I like how you we're say men. short fights and you overpronounce the W. We're, Sword fights. We're men. Men don't do that. Last yes, week, they you, do. You no, want to go to Santa Monica? Bro, you said last week that you was back there filming the scene, looking at the other guy in his eyes. I want to make sure my homie was good. So y'all was stimulating each other. Mental stimulation. Visually. I don't know what he was thinking. Shout out my boy Hollywood Cash. Well, what Not was a you homosexual. Thinking? Huh? What was you thinking? Were you saying, damn, you're a stud? I just want to make sure he was good. You know, I'm in charge of this whole operation. I want to make sure that he's having a good time. Yeah, man, you got a little uh It's called hospitality. You got you got you got a you got some going on. What's that dude had all them people up there in the woods that's locked up? You got a little Charles Manson going on, bro. Well, I like him. He I wouldn't be surprised if you that. guys weren't related. I got no bodies. You and Charlie. Actually, he didn't kill anyone, he just ordered a bunch. Exactly. Sound like someone you know? What? Anyway, I'm in an awkward, I was in an awkward position. I interviewed someone the other day, a known WAC 100 hater. Oh, that's a lot of them. And Does he know me at least? Like, do I know him? I don't think so. Fast forward two days, two days later, boom. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, S-Bone. I didn't ask him about you. S-Bone from 40s? Yeah. He's not a WAC 100 hater. He wasn't? He had a lot of YouTube videos about you. I, I, Did he? I, I think so. Oh, f- you know what? This might be a little awkward. Yo, somebody sent me rest in peace, S Bone. I thought they was trolling. I'm not sure 100. Bro, if I you... thought they was trolling. I'm not sure exactly what he had said about you, but I chose. No, I. Yo, see, hey, look, bro, he, got he a video. always was respectful to me. Two months ago, Wag 100 pulls up to American Cholo's house, etc. I wasn't really sure 100 percent if he but didn't like you. But we did release the rat paperwork on him. Uh, uh, Six hundred from Rolling Sixties brought it to me. Yeah, he was talking about that yesterday. I mean, he brought it to me, and I called him. I didn't know anything about it. I called him. He brought me the paperwork. I called him, and I called my homie Scooter from Forties. I said, yo, they said they got paperwork, sent it to him, told us bone, they got the work, this what it is. He wanted to come on my platform and go over the work. That's all. That's bone did. Yeah. Really? We've never had a uh, back and forth. Okay. We I've been on a rock star stage with him. He was always respectful to me. Now, you know, I don't know what See, he didn't do. I didn't ask him about you just because I kind of assumed that he would not like you and because I saw that he had videos about you, et cetera. So I kind of avoided the topic. But then during Stop the interview. Stop being a scary fucking wood, bro. What, you're going to get mad at me if I fucking start sparking up beast between you on here? Now you're mad at me because I didn't bring you up? I got to bring you up in every interview? Adam, listen. This is what I'm saying. I'm a hotter topic than you, bro. Oh, don't, yeah, Don't right. get mad. You ain't never been as don't viral as mad. I was last month. Don't get mad. Never. Okay, Adam. You can knock out Stitches every day for the next month check and you ain't going to be as viral as I was. Your ass. If Stitches fucks check my bitch out. one time, we're more viral than you. Check this out. No. That's my partner. Stitches. Yeah, that's my problem. He has bailed on doing an interview probably like five times. Stitch is a dude interview if I ask him to. He said he got arrested at the airport last time we tried to line this up. That's my homeboy. My homeboy. Yeah, st- but yo, so and wait. my king five fingers. Hey, yo, I woke up this morning and saw Rest in Peace, S-Bone, but I thought people was trolling. I swear to God. Okay, so you want to know what he told me on the interview on Monday? So he, he was here two he, days. He was here Monday. And I, and, and I was actually really thinking, like, so oh, this, what, this so guy would be a good killed, host. Like, I was thinking he he Where did he, he get killed at? You, so he tells me in the interview, he said, I'm going to Vegas. I don't really hit the strip too much. I don't party too much. I just gamble, and I got to make some money out there. So when he says he got to make some money out there, I'm not asking too many questions on camera. I'm assuming he got a little whatever going on. I'm assuming that whatever led to... His demise, and we'll probably find out more soon. So he got killed in Vegas. Yeah, it was. It would appear on what day? 
uh, well, he he had posted yesterday on his Instagram in Vegas, like in the hotel room. So I'm assuming Wednesday night, possibly something happened. I was in Vegas. That's not helping your case at all. You know what helps my case? The GPS on your phone. Cell towers, baby. I was in Vegas. I'm letting. I'm letting you y'all really know because I don't want the investigation to go on. You don't have a motive either, right? No, we never had any problems. He was an amazing interview. Really no, listen. Great, great stories. Um, when it comes to just talking to him, I talk to him like once or twice on Rockstar stage, all respectful. Mm-hmm. Um, wait, Vegas? Mm-hmm. Who the last dude he got into it with? Um, one he, of your guys. He's been going back and forth with a few people. Yeah, him and Break nah. Baby. Him and Break Baby man. He got into it with somebody on Clubhouse with Viro behind Crip Mac. Okay. What's a Chicago guy? FYB J Main. No, the other dude. We was King Yella. Didn't they get into it? Yeah. King Yella does reside in Vegas. I mean. I don't King think Yella, it was on that level. Oh, King Yell ain't gonna do that. He know King Yell getting his content. Yeah. He was just on the floor with me yesterday. But I just know pause. where the where the media going. Ain't no pause. No, See, you're, on your floor, you're on the floor. You're on the floor. On the floor. Yeah. On the floor. My floor, the clubhouse floor, the one hundred show. Sounds like That's a dirty it. movie. No, your little sick ass mind. Well. Cause I see the floor you got going on back there. Mm-hmm. Fucking yellow carpet. Motherfucker got yellow <laughs> zebra carpet. Like, what the fuck is going on back here? <laughs> well, fucking sun kiss, starburst, yellow f- pleather furniture. You can at least fuck them on leather, bro. That's leather. That's vinyl. It's not vinyl. Vinyl. The couch is vinyl. Vinyl, vinyl. It looks like leather to Vi- me. No, that shit's vinyl. The juice is loose. The orange couch is what it is. Yo, do you disinfect that shit, bro? Yeah. But what about the bed? That's you up? disinfect that shiny ass head? Yeah, I spray. Uh, <laughs> when I shave it, I spray alcohol. I got a high tolerance for pain, so I like to pause. Yeah, I do. You're gonna need it when you're on the floor with King Yellow. <laughs> King Yellow, what are you talking about? Now, if King Yellow take that person, he'll come up here and whoop your ass. King Yellow's the homie. He'll he'll fight back with words. He's a grown up, unlike certain people. See, cause you was a little bitch, Adam. See, bitches do that. What are you talking about? Cause now you're saying. Uh, Grown ups only fight back with words. Oh yeah. So the motherfucker that want to whoop your ass, he's not a grown up. Who wants to whoop my ass? I've been here. You've been disrespectful, bro. Yeah, see, that's... I hear shit. I don't see it. I don't call it being disrespectful. I call, uh, call it calling bluffs. No, I hear. Um, oh, what's the dude? Somebody's wife. Another dude in the hospital. <laughs> oh, the Toxic Avengers. How do you keep crossing these? What, what's up? Um. You know what it is? It's just like certain people feel like they have the the, the the need to disrespect me on their platforms over and over and over. So you watch the show? I start their, firing so back a little show. bit. No, I have a loyal community on the Reddit who updates me with any time anybody says anything about me. Okay, so. Uh, Very helpful. Who disrespected? Were they reacting or responding? Did you star some shit? What it was was there was a night where Back on Fig and Community Clips were all about me, the just entire streams about me, about what they think of me, et cetera. You got mad it bothered you? Oh, I went on my story and I let, them know, I let them know that they're reaction channels. It didn't bother you? When they left No Jumper, they wanted to start did their own businesses. You? It doesn't bother me. I just felt the need to stand on business. And so I- That's uh, not your terminology. Yes, it is. I'm no, taking no. it. See, we tired- No, it's mine now. No, no. Yeah, I got the- We tired the, the of y'all taking is, our shit. Is, is being no, processed no. right now. What? The copyright? Yeah, I got that. Oh, no. Stand on business, LLC. It's happening. That's just a court. Did you trademark it? Yeah. You trademark stand on business. Yeah. And sand on business. And what? It's like the beach version. Nah, man. I think I can beat you to the point of punch, bro. Have fun. Nah, because like you taking all our shit. Like, you know, the the, the white community. Y'all can't do that, bro. Well, I don't represent the white community. I just remember I, I just represent myself. Nah, fuck all that, bro. I think I think I think I can beat you to the punch. We're gonna see what's going on. You got a good trademark guy? Oh man, what? Black black man. You calling someone? Ask right that now? motherfucker Big Chuck from Death of the Cloud Chaser. Where's Big Chuck? Took his shit. Big Chuck. Took it. Rest in peace, Esbo, by the way. I just want to make that oh, clear. Let me see if he answer. You gotta put it on uh Nah, bro, I ain't nah. Put it on uh 
Yo, so he got, how did he get up. killed? You like, we natural don't know causes? We, I, literally, OD? I was texting Remo like five minutes before uh-huh. we heard about this, telling him that I thought he would be a great host. And then I get hit up five minutes after that. Boom, somebody tells me. Yo, somebody fucking, I swear, I saw when I was getting on the plane, I'm like, rest in peace, s bone. Right. And he really did. He did all these years in jail and prison and shit, and then he finally is starting to really make his, his way on YouTube. He's got interviews with Street TV and all these other podcasts. No Jumper finally comes hollering, and then just boom. Who in the fuck would... Yo, you fucking me up right now, bro. I Oh, see, look. I'm telling you. I'm saying. Yeah. People telling you, too. R.I.P.S. Bond for Rolling 40s, No Jumper, Crip Mac, Brick Baby. Why are they putting my, our names in there? Hold on. Hey. Hey. Y'all I'm in here with this white man. Uh-oh. And uh, he trying to, you know, they doing what they do. You know, stand on business is like something that the urban community, you know, kicked off. So How am I, I not urban? Hold on. Check this out. White I lived guy. in cities for most Listen, of my life. What? I told him his trademark team can't fuck with mine. He talking about he did an LLC. We don't give a fuck about none of that. Stand on business. Go pull it up. If it's available, get it in all categories. We got to let the white man. No, don't wait. Listen. Yeah. Well, I can't pick up my coffee. <laughs> that's that's brown, too. Stand on business. You wish business. you were this shade, bro. Go get it. Just like we did that's that a good with the clone chaser. I was like, right? I look like Chris we got to go get this shit because we all know Jumper Live right now. This is the best trademark attorney in the game. Well, good luck, brother. Jock Shirley. Can't fuck with him. Doc Johnson. No, Jock Shirley. Know. Say it right. Ask go, him, what, hey, what's put his it verdict? Up. He didn't say a damn word. Go put it up right now. Put it up, Jock, and hit me back. Yeah. All right. Why, why'd you call Boom. him and he didn't let him say a word? <laughs> we didn't even hear his voice. Yeah. So listen. Yo, so don't nobody know how he... Come on, somebody got to know, bro. The word just dropped. Somebody. Uh, although I saw people know. saying he got killed. So... If, so it, it if it's like, not that, then it's a plot twist. Cause Nah, bro. It got to be somebody. Let's see what the motherfucker that sent it to me. Okay. This we'll is crazy. He has any new information. Yo, Yo this is Beast. You know my right hand. Okay. Beast. I, I, now, listen. You sent me a clip this morning, and I totally ignored it. I thought it was some troll shit. I get to know Jumper. Adam telling me Asbone really got killed. You, you that's what I'm saying. I was sending you. I was like, hey, Wack, check your text. Check, check, I thought it was, text. I thought you was, tr- how, how they say he died, like OD, somebody gunned him down? I don't know yet. They're saying a couple different things, so I haven't got the real story, but I got somebody looking into it right now. They're pulling the file right now. Yeah, let me know, Beast. Yeah, you already know. You already yeah, know. I, 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 bro, I swear to God, I thought, I thought it was a troll. Hey, Wack, I'm pressing him right now. He's feeling pressed. He getting kind of crazy, talking all kind of crazy shit. I'm in this other room over here pressing him right now. Oh, he ain't be talking about about the rat dude. Uh, what's yeah, the nigga yeah, name? I'm, I'm, I'm on him about motherfucking Drewski. Drewski. What's Drewski real name? I don't know. They call him Vince. Drewski, the one got the 5K1. Yeah, the, the 5K1. The rat. He, bad, he put the kid in the cage and everything. Yeah, this dude's crazy. Yeah, kid man, tell him, tell him we riding with levels, bro. That's it. Put a kid it. in That's the what cage. I'm telling him, so I'm going to tell him right now because he's trying to trip. So I'm get on him. All right. You get that S bone shit. Putting nope. somebody in a cage, that's called standing on business. No, nah, that ain't standing on business. That's some <laughs> bullshit. See, coming from a white man, okay, good. you shouldn't say I'm that I'm glad kind of that shit. we can agree on that. No, no, no. See, now you're trying to flip it. You meant that shit. What? Because y'all put a lot of our people in cages, nah, bro. No, I'm sneak this, and you just don't get it because you're nah, not tapped nah, in. Nah, nah, you're not nah. tapped in. Nah, nah, You don't know. Nah. And, I, and they told me this was a lightning bolt, your first one. I mean, you can look at it, right? You want to get closer? Nah, 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 nah. You want to kiss me on hey, the yo, cheek, Hey, yo, do you wax? really got contacts? You know, the people from community told me you got contacts. Contacts? No. They told me those are contacts. I had contacts when I was in high school. No, they told me those are colored contacts. <laughs> Half my family's That's got blue eyes. I, dream was to be a blue-eyed white boy. I got my eye surgery done when I was about 25. What you mean? Laser? Laser surgery. They wouldn't do it for me. I said, they said I had to be 50. Yeah, and they think you might be a victim of... <laughs> I'm not going to... A victim of what? Uh just maybe your uh maybe your your genetics aren't good enough. Another shot at black people. <laughs> no, you specifically. <laughs> Sometimes I gotta hold myself back. I got like so amazing I, I, jokes I was, in hey, the listen, tuck. I can't do it. I, don't know. I was kinda scared to do it. Do what? 
Your eyes. eye surgery. You should be scared. It's fucking weird. They hold you. They strap your head down. Put some weird drops in your eyes. They fucking strap the whole thing. Like, and then you just see this this little laser, and you feel it on your eye. They're just shaving off a little bump on your eye. And when they do it, you ever smell burning hair? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got that smell because it's burning skin. So does it hurt? It doesn't really hurt. It just feels awkward. So can you see afterwards? I could see, well, you have like maybe 24 or 48 hours where your eyes need to heal up, and then it's good. But so you can't see? Basically, you need to stay in the crib for like at least 24 hours. Fell around and shit. I stayed in bed for like 24 hours after I did Yeah, you you, 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 uh, you in them beds, because that bed you got in the back, that motherfucker got stains on it, bro. Yeah. I'm about to bring you back there after this. Nah, I ain't going back there. I'm cool. I went back there, but nobody was back there. I got a million dollars. I got it from Kodak Black. You down? Definitely not. <laughs> Yo, but bro, uh, for real, did you pay that dude 150 grand? Who? The white dude. What white dude? I mean the black dude. What black dude? <laughs> you know, I'm tired of saying it, but they saying you paid him. A- oh, hell, why would I pay him? T-Rail, that, T-Rail told me that you paid the black dude 150000 He's got a rough relationship with the truth. What are you talking about? He's he always a kept a real liar. Man. Did you? No, no, come well, on. Did bro. he really tell you that? Because then it's, then it's official. So what y'all paying? Nothing. Come on, bro. He ain't just did that to hit the white pussy. No, yeah, he did. It was like an internship type deal. He get a cut out of the proceeds. Are we ever going to do an episode where you don't talk about this? <laughs> nah, you did it, motherfucker. <laughs> nah. We don't talk about it as much as we want. The homie said you paid him. So you just call up T-Rell and you just want to talk about my dick? Because honestly, I could no, see no. him being receptive That's to that. That's not your dick. Mm. That's the black dude's okay. dick. My wife's <laughs> vagina. Yeah. You call up T-Rail and you say, hey, let's talk about Lennon's pussy. No, the boy called the homie. Right. He called T-Rail and said, yo, because he's going to do an interview. Right. Did you piss the black dude off? Oh, Jason Love is going to go on Jason back Jason's going to the community to do an interview. I highly doubt he knows what I'm setting is. it up. Yeah, okay, I like that idea. Yeah. I don't want to meet the motherfucker, but I mean, why they can't do it? No, that'd be a good idea, yeah. And he said he got some exclusive shit. Yeah? Like what? I guess, you know, he had something on, had a camera in it, brother. He had something what? Had someone had a camera in it. Oh, he had a camera inside of his penis hole. No. That would be a and great angle. And some shit on this footage that you don't know about. Oh, that's a great idea, definitely. Oh, everybody. So, so you're, y'all see them react? So you're, Dude gets touchy this, about he's it. He's this worked I up. I want to see, I want to <laughs> see if he's over it. You seen him? He reacted. You think I really believe that he had a camera in his penis hole? I, no, you said that. Okay, well, where, where would the camera have been? And why would additional angles of the sex that everybody's already seen be of value? It's the shit that happened that you didn't see. See, I like this, though, because you call up T-Rail and he tells you, you got to say this, you got to say that, because let's face it, I, I, I took like a cataclysmic W over their team. Like, they, they, they had to backpedal. They're not talking about it anymore. Back, but what do you mean? They're all a bunch of field mice now. They went no, quiet. Wait, wait. First of all, mm. we ain't using the terminology field what? with no brothers. No, it's a mouse. No. It's a type of we mouse. We ain't using that. Okay, what's, what's a better type of mouse? homies over there rats. Okay, Nothing. well, that's, that's a yeah. different connotation as well. Yeah, there ain't no rats over there. Them the homies. Field mice. Okay, so my thing Just is, a regular mouse. They're winning. Huh? Yes. How? I'm going to tell you how. You're supposed to be part of the team, for the record. We're going to have to talk you about, about, your, about the team morale I'm that you're bringing to the table. I'm going to tell you why they're winning. Okay. It hasn't been a day since they left. That you have not had something to say about them. That is the biggest lie. Now, I went I went like probably three months without saying a word about them while they talked about me every day. And then I finally started responding. And then you. retards like you are trying to shift the narrative and act as if I was talking about them before they started talking about me. All of my Reddit heads out there know that this is pure cap. I know you are, but what am I? Oh my God. <laughs> See, that was rolls in reverse. I usually act like that, and then he usually says some shit like this. <laughs> I know you are, but what have I? Checkmate. Hey, How yo. come you ain't been on those podcasts? So I'd like to see you go stir some shit up over there. Uh, whenever they call me. I, I don't, um, whenever they call me. Right. But but you don't want to go be part of a, sh- a but sinking they got ship? You. No jumper reacts. You gave T Rail's wife some clout. They using the shit out of you, bro. She blocked me. I think I hurt her feelings. I'm actually kind of worried about her. Did you mention her podcast or something? The Drink Show, yeah. Mixed Drink Show. That's the name of it? <laughs> yeah. What's the name of it? The Mixed Drink Show. And you mentioned it. And you mentioned it she again. She invited me on. You mentioned it again. She invited you me on. You mentioned it again. 
T-Rail. Don't say I didn't look she out for you. She invited me the on. Tell the queen. I, I hit her out. with a JK. That shit is ass. And then she blocked me right away because she. Are bro, you for real? She got annihilated right there. Like, why'd you do that? I, I might have never seen well, so many you, laughing emojis you, in the comment sections. They were going crazy wait, for that so one. Why did you, like, incorporate her in y'all shit? Because she have you ever met her? She, of course, she's been sneak dissing me. On their show, not sneak this, and she's just been straight up dissing me Saying for what? months and months and Saying months. Saying what? Just commenting on every single little thing in my life, and then she decides to swim up in my DMs, offers me a spot on her mixed drink show, and I hit her with the JK. That shit is ass. You do know that was by design, right? Yeah, designed by me to whoop ass. But you mentioned it. What? You know how many people probably didn't know about the show. And because you did that, they know now? I don't think it's going to help. What? Are you crazy? The mixed drink show. What's wrong with the show? It's not doing too good. I mean, it's just starting. No. It's been like 20 episodes. So what's the views doing? Going down. I think I might need to call the nephew. I'm gonna you want to get him on here? Give him a few pointers. Oh, yeah. they will pull up. You could probably teach them a thing or two about you pouring a drink. You think they will pull up? No, of course Are you not. scared to do an interview with them? Uh, only scared because the views would be so low because they're just not factors anymore. What? On Adam. YouTube. On YouTube. I'm sure they, they got their own little street thing going on. Let me that. ask you something. What? You remember when you first started No Jumper? No. It's all a blur. <laughs> <laughs> Was your views with theirs were when, when... Yeah, way more. Get the fuck out of here. Factual. Fuck out of here. You just want to talk about them every week. Nah, you nah. You got a little hard No, on. bro. You I'm mad here? they didn't give you a spot. What about the dude in the hospital, man? They like, yeah, it's like you've been on some bullshit. I oh, know. You've been acting like me. They about to change his name to OG Pegleg. He ain't doing too good, bro. Shit what is you sad. Mean? He got bed sores. Bed his, boot, his booty be hurting. Who told you that? He got a pee in a little dish. Somebody giving you this information? Oh, yeah, the nurses. You called the fucking hospital? I called the front desk. And they put me in touch. So you playing that kind of game? Mm-hmm. Did you at least send some flowers? Nah, fuck that shit. Bro, why wouldn't you send him a no jumper uh style bouquet? I just don't know if he could really appreciate it. He's not a man of taste. You know this guy? Yeah. And y'all got problems too? Yeah. Well, I didn't know we had problems. I guess I guess I knew. But no, he was so hurt that he uh he threatened to kill my kid. Get the fuck out of here. I swear to God. You want to hear it? Come on, bro. You want to hear it? Come on, man. You want to hear it? See, he, I, I, he said I, I, he's going to kill my whole family. My my kid, my mom, my grandma, everybody. But maybe he was like. No, I think he was serious. He's a sick fuck. <clears throat> maybe he was like under medication, bro. Like yeah, medication. no, there's no doubt about that. But the problem is he's been on medication his whole life. He's a J-cat. Um, bro. Where, where are we going with this? There's, uh... You did something, Adam. No, I did not. What you say to him on the phone? I just violated real quick. I didn't talk to him on the phone. Who'd you talk to him, man? Damn, I can't even find the video. Maybe he had it scraped from the internet. He's, he's so embarrassed. Sorry, you to kill your kid? Yeah, what the hell's wrong with these guys? That's a little different. You got nothing to live for, man. I don't think he might be. He said another word. Yeah, he said your kid is going to be dead soon. Your mama going to be dead soon. Your girl going to be dead soon. Then I do a story laughing Maybe at him. He said your mother's the, kid. Backpedals. Totally apologize. I ain't going to kill your kid. I ain't going to kill your kid. And then he fucking deletes everything. Because you know in that group chat, the No Jumper Reacts group chat, where they all talk, you know that they're telling him, like, bro, you're making us look bad. You're making us look bad. You can't be threatening a two-year-old. That's Definitely not called can't. standing on business. If you were standing on business, you just... Oh, you anyway. just going to keep using our, our slang. You should probably... probably Mute that part. Uh, that's my slang now. I copyrighted it. And then what my attorney said. Your attorney's a custer. Anyway, are we going to talk about any topics today? Um, yeah, sure. Okay, let's start with this. You were supposed to bring me some Hoovers today. It turns out your street pull ain't exactly what we thought it was. No, one's on the way. Allegedly. The other dude, um, <clears throat> he said he wanted $7,400. That's too much. I said, bro, no, what the fuck are you talking about? We're doing you a favor. Yeah. But let's clear one thing up. You put out a clip. Not on the hunted side. It was not Adam's idea. It was Wax's idea. So I'm like, you know to what? To invite him? Yeah, it was my idea. Okay. So I was like, you know what? I just signed Young Magnificent. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> He's a Hoover. Mm. He got an a EP out called 716 Degrees, which represents all the Hoovers 
combined. But what's 716? From four tray to 112, I mean to 11 deuce. So if you add all those up, you get 716? Exactly. Jesus Christ. Right? So I'm figuring, like, maybe he'd come sit in with his homie, you know, help him out a little bit. And then we can clear some business. That was my thought. And I was ecstatic at first because Flacco taps in with me and says, hey, I was just talking to Milk. He agreed to come on the show. I'm like, oh, that's going to be great. That's going to be That's who fucked it up. Killer content. <laughs> really? Flacco. Flacco did? And then Flacco hits me up right after uh, he said. Oh, uh, you should get paid. Uh, I mean, I mean, you know. Flacco uh, would never bring that uh, up. Flacco be getting in niggas business, bro. Why would he do that? I think it's them little tight ass shorts he wear. We need to see. need to go spend a day in San Quentin. You don't wear a lot of shorts. He's mostly a pants guy. Nah, bro. I, I like, do need to go have thigh surgery, thigh deduction. So the same lipo you're gonna get in your belly, you want him to do that in his thighs? Yeah. Well, if he does that, he's gonna look like I'm he has going a on the eighth. He's gonna have a big ass. I go on eighth. Legs. You need an eighth. No, I'm going on an eighth. You need an eighth right now. September. To get your lipo done. You want to send the cameras? <sighs> that should have go viral. In a way, yes. In another way, no. You want to send the cameras? I just don't want to see you nude laid out on a bed. It's going to give me PTSD of that, that other thing nude, I'm thinking bro. of. Doing this stomach uh, waist up. You still going to be nude. Why you always think about naked you men? You going to rock some shorts or something? Some basketball I mean, shorts? I don't know whatever they give me, bro, but, you know, on the 8th I'm going to get right. Really? Shout out to my man, Bam Man Kivo. So you're not thinking about having the fat go into your butt? Because that's what the girls do. She knows. Listen. Oh. Uh, Bad bitch contest. You yeah, first always, place. Yo, 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 Adam. What? Listen. He got a at big booty, age, so listen, I'll call him big booty, huh? At what age did you realize you were gay? It's been slow the way it's all just sort of been coming together. You know that you're like uh what's our man here? The dude that was here the, with the blue hair? Destiny. Yeah, Destiny's openly bisexual. <coughs> I love that for you. Him. You know you're leaning that way. No. I think <laughs> it's going to take a lot more. If your wife told you to diddle a man, I think you would do it. You know, when I decided to start a podcast with you, I didn't think that you reprimanding me and telling me that I was gay. I'm was not reprimanding be the, I didn't you. think that was going to be the theme of every I was episode. I'm not reprimanding you. Okay, not you reprimanding. You a lot of gay shit. It's like you're trying to convince me. Have you ever no, heard of electroshock I, therapy? I don't have to convince you. You say a lot of gay shit. Check me into electroshock therapy so that they can zap the gay out of me. I mean, listen, bro, to each his own. Shout out to the community. But I'm How just saying, you, you just got to keep it real with yourself. And, and be gay? I think that would be a betrayal of who I really am. My dick don't stand up for some greasy guy. Bro, I don't give a fuck about none of that. Well, that's like pretty I much see, what I would know, mean I that I was gay, you right? You got a strap-on dildo with a leather motherfucking harness. Girls just want to have no, fun. No, that's your shit. <sighs> no. Well, I mean. It said it had a tape. And then one of them said Adams. Another one that said Adams. Chicks. Why is it March? Why is it March, bro? I don't believe one it. One said Chicks. The other one said Adams. I don't. I what don't a even, Z. I don't even know what to say to this. What a Z. Adams. It must have been a different Adam. Probably Adam Levine. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I like like your there. girls like asking asking him like are they okay are they gonna fight? <laughs> Yo, listen, man. who is she? She's a tall you drink keep of water. Ain't calling she? somebody my girl, bro. Well, she's a beautiful woman that you came in we here. We didn't with. talk to her, man. I'm like, thinking about. I'm, I'm trying to like talk about her right here, so maybe she'll notice me. Damn, she got a nice bag too. You, you keep, buy her? That? Why you keep calling people somebody my girl, bro? I'm you assuming well, somebody's my girl? Who is she then? She, 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 so she, if you walk in with a with a chick, I can say that's your girl. For, for the podcast sake, yeah, for some jokes getting nah, off, yeah. Man, nah. so you can't call everybody. She? What's her name? Hey, girl. What's her name? You know, I got homeboys here, man. Homeboys. You know, how you know she with me? How you know she not with well, them? She's sitting in here. They're sitting out there eating snacks. Well, I mean, that's gentlemen, bro. That's a gentlemanly thing to you do. You know, they she probably told them that she want to sit in. Maybe they're not as concerned with your safety as uh, you think that they are. Well, the safety's outside the door. Mm-hmm. I can. I ain't worried about y'all in here. You got somebody in the parking lot. Oh, not down four corners. Really? Yeah, for sure. I'd like to find out. I'd like to go check that out. See what your security apparatus looks like. If you can see them, they're not real security. You came in one time solo, Dolo, but for the most part, you're rolling. I'm with, never solo. And it's dolo. always with the same three guys, pretty much. I'm never. But that's Two my. Guys, three guys. That's what's close to me. 
You got to have boom, boom, and then, you know, you got to have your, in case they get away, you got to have somebody by the freeway. What are you They're so going to go that way. What are you so worried about? I'm not worried about this. Life. I've been living this life 34 years, Adam. Clubhouse ops or real life ops? I've been living this life 34 years. Right. Since 1989. You've been a G. And you know I've been working. So if it ain't if it ain't broke, why well, fix it? It ain't working. It is it's been working like shit. What you want me to do? Change up. This is my new podcast. Think stance. about it though. You like this? I don't come like some of these idiots. Fifty people, twenty. You don't need all that. That's for optics. You just need the right positioning. But you're in here every right week. People. They do that because they're not going to be in here all the time. They want to make a statement like, "Hey, these are my boys." Adam, how, you know how, how many thick people work at you? Do you trust everybody that works with you? I mean, within reason, sure. Okay, then if you trust them within reason and they, they work with you every day, then I'm going to cut that in by 80%. How about this? You leave a million dollars in your office. You trust your whole staff, all your employees to not take it? You think that they, they run off? Do you know which ones would run off? You never know. A million dollars. Never know what's going on in their life. A lot of money. Probably feel they can hide. Well, security's always a must. I mean, you got cameras at your home, right? You hear those the sirens right there? I mean, you know, yeah, that's we got, we got cameras all over you the place. You got crib. cameras at your home, right? Yeah. You got dogs? Yeah, but he a bitch. I'm pretty sure you uh he barks. Ralphie? Not not even he doesn't even really do that the right way. I'm pretty sure you own like uh firearms. Let's not talk about it. I mean your white dude is legal, right? That's you think that's how it works? You're a white guy, you just get you, you got you got felonies? <laughs> No. Okay, I'm, I'm sure, chilling. I'm pretty sure you and your wife have illegal firearms. No, nah, she ain't a what, what's Dirk's girl. Why not? I don't think we're. I can't imagine her shooting a gun. Take her to the range. I did one time, and they kicked us out because we smelled like weed. She was wearing a mini skirt. I don't think they were feeling our whole vibe. Well, you know. She don't know. She doesn't know. My kids, everybody, they are, they've been going to the range a long time. Yeah. When do you start? You could take them like 14. 14, you start them shooting guns. 13, 14. Interesting. Mine's, you want you teaching them, you know, what that is. Mine's two and a half. I don't think she's ready. But your wife. She's, what if something's she's going down? She might be ready. What if something's going down and, and, you know, they get you? She's the last, she's the last stage of defense. What's she gonna do? I think she wants to learn. She just got kicked you know out. What? She I'm... got kicked out the range that one time. And... Which one did you go to? They got one up in um, like uh, Valencia area, outdoor. Yeah. I got a buddy. Outdoor. I got one of my white friends. He's uh, ex military. Take her up there, train her. Cool dude. I don't trust your homies with my girl. No, nah, he's cool as fuck. He's white dude. Why? That's a big deal to you, huh? You no, like cool. all the white people besides me. He used to be security for gang. Ooh. Okay. Real cool. Interesting. Oh. You've been training my kids, bro. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I like it. Um, okay. I'm, I'm going to revisit the co- the questions list here. Yo, you fucked me up with uh, S-Ball. Crazy. I got it, but I, I thought they was trolling. <sighs> Interviewed him Monday. Was he in the casino? Like, what the fuck? I asked him, like, are you on the strip? He said, I don't really go to the strip that much. So that makes me feel like probably not. Probably Airbnb. Who knows what kind of business he had out there? Because that's what he said. He's like, I got, I got some money to make out there. There's a lot of ways to make money, but I would assume maybe that has something to do with how this happened. Damn. Guy from L.A., you don't think he goes to Vegas and gets into that situation. You think of that happening in L.A., right? You go to Vegas, nobody gives a shit about you usually. I mean, Vegas, Arizona. It's a bunch of people from L.A. on the run. Same shit. So you really interviewed Will I Am? That's my brother. On Clubhouse? Can we get him on here? Yeah. Yeah, right. When he get in town, that's my brother. Will he bring Fergie? Well, I don't know, shit. But Will will come. You know what I'm going to tell him? You know what I want to tell him? Well, you know what? Can we take the interview? You ever been to the studio? His studio? Crazy. Let's go. Let's go. It's right now. I swear it's to God. It's kind of like less baller than no, if no. he pulls up on us, but... No, listen, bro. Like eight years ago, the fucking cloning machine. <clears throat> he has a cloning machine. He's gonna inspire you. You need to see it. He cloned a sheep. Well, I know. I see him clone a shoe. A shoe. 
Yeah, it's a cl- fucking cloning machine. So, like, you have one shoe, and then you put it in a machine, in, and then yeah, all of yeah. a sudden you have two shoes. Yeah. You're telling me that Will I Am has this technology? He's been having it nine years ago. He told me eight For years ago. For any object, including a shoe. He told me eight years ago about the AI. I told him, you're out your fucking mind. He said it on the on my pot on the on, on the system. AI is less revolutionary than a cloning machine. He also has um the the suit with people that's paraplegic where they can walk. He was showing me this shit like five, six, seven years ago. Bro. He's got a lot of paraplegic homies or what? Nah, he just, you know, he wanna help people. You know, you know, I saw, you know he has a, a coding school for the kids in East L.A. I saw Will I Am and the Black Eyed Peas perform at Warp Tour in 1998 when I was 13 years old. Will's a cool I want to tell him that. I think that's pretty cool. Eminem, too. He got a green room that's crazy. That's bigger than your spot and my spot. A green room as in just like a room for you to wait around before you talk no. to him? No. You go green screen room. Ah. Huge. So if you want to film something I for mean, a this, movie. Bro. You need to go. We got to go over there. He got an outdoor. Listen, he got an outdoor spot that I know you're going to want to use in case you want to do like a no jumpers type reunion. Mm. It's a lounge outdoor. It's behind the gates. A reunion. <laughs> I mean, just maybe you want to do a fucking uh, or your plug talk, like for real shit. It's, it's, it's laid out. It's a stage up there for people to perform. Got the bar area. It's for like. It's for like people that want to do like you said for parties. plug talk. So you think I want to have like an outdoor orgy for Will I Am's amusement? No, I'm saying so let's say you just want to do a uh, because I'm cool. No, we got to grow no jumper, bro, to some more shit. But I don't think Will I Am watching me fuck needs to be part of that. No, bro. First of all, we ain't disrespecting bro nothing like that. Well, <clears> I'm you're saying, the one to put the idea. Out. I'm saying the location, right? Because you kind of changed my whole shit up because you, I, I probably already said this, but you took me to Nick Cannon's spot. And I was very, very impressed. I said, I got to get my own spot. I got to uh-huh. build out a whole facility. And we did so. Nick's shit is, is boss. His shit was dope. Well, I am shit some other shit. Really? I walked in his bathroom nine years ago and the toilet was talking to me. Shit was crazy. <laughs> what did it say? Get your it fat ass me off something, of me. Something. <laughs> Do you wish to use something? No. And it opened up. I said, yeah, it opened up. <laughs> say, Go, no. It opened up. Get the fuck off of me. <laughs> Hey, man, you always thinking about ass. <laughs> when I'm around you. Adam, you know one day you're, you're going to go viral. What? You're going to go viral. See, you keep making these little comments. <laughs> I'm at to sock you out, Well, Adam. you keep talking about the ops, so I got to talk I'm about how thick sock. you is. I can have you snatched up with a head snatched now. Snatched up? What's up? What? Snatched up. Watch this. What are they going to do with me? Watch this. Okay. Third. I'll let this nigga Come, come call at him. I need you to stand behind him. I need you to stand behind him on that side for you. This is my, my guy right here. Yeah, okay. Yo, just stand man. behind him like this. Can I think, you know, he... Adam, you see that? I've been giving you mushroom Adam, you candies see? and all these bags of Doritos. You for see the that? Man, you said my word, uh, $25 uh, McDonald's. You see uh, that? I came back. <laughs> oh, I did right, say boy. that. I did say yeah, I was going to give him a McDonald's gift card. Yeah. Oh, my yeah God. Hey, he God. did run in here pretty quick, though. Oh, yeah. Sure. That was impressive. Look, you, look, you see who got the door? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Back up. Yeah. Nobody in, nobody out. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, you want to introduce us? Um... Um, ladies and gentlemen, this is um of the press. This is um young uh, magnificent. Why are you talking weird? Um, <laughs> we we are we are gathered here today. We're gathered here today. It's been four weeks. Uh exactly four weeks. He's been signed for four weeks. To let you guys know that four weeks ago he had nineteen monthly listeners, less than one thousand streams. That's way less than that. Today, Young Magnificent <laughs> has yeah, yeah. over 25,000 monthly listeners. Mm, 100,000, 100, about six, 700,000 huh? streams on Spotify. 100 Entertainment Movement. How'd you do that? This is facts. What happened? What'd you this do? This is facts. First of all, it's a product. Go. What'd you do? I didn't do nothing. It's a product. I promoted it right. Marketed it right. What, marketed, marketed it how? Be more specific. Uh, positioning. Uh, the video. Um, one thing you know about the uh, a lot of these people don't know the YouTube Shorts. Uh huh. That shit serious. That is shit. That's, that's, that's serious. Whole thing. Um, the game show. I put him on a game show. What Jeopardy? No, he did a game show <laughs> down in Orange County. They got a 
crazy spot. The shit I'm talking to you about is coming together. They got a new spot. Remember the old fucking, um, we used to always do concerts down in Orange County. You know what I'm talking about. A little spot held about 1,000 people. The observatory? Yeah. They sold to Live Nation. They moved a little further down. Really? They got one spot. It's dope as fuck. Outdoor, 1,000 people. But inside, they got one that holds two, 300. It's going to be good for the plate I want to put together. Okay. But yeah, today, 27.5 monthly listeners. He had 19 four weeks ago. Bigger picture, 111,000. Gang bang, 100,000. Purpose of life, 99,000. Hey, Catch love. one, stretch one, 99,000. Tell me 99,000. That's five of the seven songs. Right. Now, only song that I marketed was Bigger Picture. By them going to Bigger Picture, it led them to listen to his other songs. What about the fact that he had a No Jumper interview 10 months ago? Not, no. Ahead of the curve. No, what? You're playing catch no, up. No, no, listen. He came on with me and you back there. Yeah. When? Before so that. Oh, a previous uh I brought interview. him right, on. Right. But I'm saying he, had, he did an interview on here what, 10 what, months ago. With well. who? Who he did an interview with? Say it. Who did he do an interview with? <laughs> who did he do the interview with? Come on, bro. I don't like to talk about these people. No, this oh, ain't man. talking about it. It's keeping it real. Who did he do it with? Some uh, His name's on the tip of my tongue. I can't <laughs> you remember. You're asshole, bro. You got a homie there. <laughs> T Rail, mm -hmm. a real who dog, looking man. out for a real who, which leads me to something. I'm, I'm gonna be real shallow with it. Uh, what's the dude's name? Milk. Uh -huh. Milk. I only oh, call. I called upon you personally because if I support a Hoover, I thought a Hoover would support a Hoover. Listen, even mm. Young that's Magnificent did not fuck have the ability to get him that. out of that fuck apartment. That. Nigga, nigga, no, that's nigga, all nigga. it was. Yeah, I called on you on some business move, and you, you went to the media and made it sound like, if it's that, let say something. Let me know something. You can hit me direct. Nigga, like, yeah, oh, so you don't like the video that he made? Nah, that was because that was fuck. he's the one. Directly. He nigga, was communicating. I wouldn't communicate. I don't know him. The world don't so know. I'm doing. I Listen, I did my part with the platform. Asking you, you like cool whack, let's do it. So I told him, yo, Milk got a name in this world. It'd be great. You know, we bring it all together. Yeah. So I was just trying to, you know, 716 degrees is, oh, now. is yeah. who? Full tray to the one way. Full tray all the way up. Homie is a content warrior. Like, instead of responding to you, he just makes a YouTube video so that he can monetize the conversation <laughs> and make it all public. And it really yeah. wasn't really a conversation. I mean, we had the conversation live on the show. Right. I called him on the show. So it's obvious mm -hmm. it came from me. It ain't like he wants to make it look like it's you. Like you're th you don't, that wasn't you. That, that was is me. a good point. Now that people have seen that episode, they it know was, that it's not like I had this idea. It you was, had the it idea. It was fucking me. Right. You got a Paul Rue supporting a Hoover. So I said, bro, call Milk, bring him in. It'd be a bigger thing. If a Paul Rue supporting a Hoover, I would expect a Hoover su to support a Hoover, especially on the EP called 760. How did degrees. you guys meet? Mm. I don't know. Um, Pitbull. Pitbull. Okay. My daughter's personal security. Oh, okay. Pitbull. Even my uh, well, baby crazy, yo. From Harlem Crip. Mm -hmm. Been my daughter's personal security for like five years. Okay. Um, they're That's related. So he brought them to me. Uh -huh. To the studio. You know, I don't charge them by your studio. Really? Never charge those kids that die. Okay. Crips, Bloods, Paul Rules, Essays. Don't matter. As long as you come in, respect everybody. No game banging. If... You got a problem with somebody back there. Y'all know each other. Some gloves over there. But if you're a rapper, you put the gloves on, you got to go in the booth and make a song with them. Uh -huh. Or you can't come back. Okay. When you get behind these walls, everybody from the same game. All right. I like it. Honey, the NT shit, man. Even me? At least I can do. I mean, you got people who neighborhood been beefing 40, 50 years who get back there after a couple days, a week or two. They're like, damn, dude, cool. He cool. And they start talking. They start helping each other do music. You know what I mean? So shit, fucking Main Streets and Hoovers, you know, fucking Grape Streets, Bounty Hunters. Mm -hmm. It'd be some shit back there. Wacko Hunters for the people. No, but you gotta remember. How, how, what's it like dealing with this motherfucker? Go ahead, tell him. It's crazy. You <laughs> gotta be on point. You gotta be ready at any time for anything. Really? You unexpected. I mean, I was just at grandma's house chilling. Uh huh. Looked at my phone like, what the fuck? 1, 1 p.m. It's 1 15. Oh <laughs> shit, let me jump up. Order an Uber and get up out of here. Just like that. But yeah, man, he authentic, man. You feel me? Yeah. Everybody say this and say that, but he gonna lace you. So he yeah, people, you when people find out you're working with him, they they give you all kinds of shit. I think they did. For yeah, the I took, yeah, hell yeah, I took a whole lot of shit. What's that like? Game banging. 
Same thing. I think from the beginning. Yo, but listen, here go a question. Because a lot of these people I don't be knowing. Mm-hmm. Right? Do you ever ask them why? Yo, what, like, like. I'm sure they have really good reasons. Like, why? No, for real. I, I, I'm curious. <laughs> why? Like, do you ever ask them why? I ain't going to say no names. I asked, I asked a certain homie, like, a question, like, what's up with your issue? Like, it's like, yeah, whack this to say it. I'm like, Show me the video, nigga. Nigga spent I like what? Nate Hoover? Nigga spent like twenty minutes looking for the clip in the video, and I'm just like, where's that? Like, mm. call me when you get that. That's video. That's made up yeah, shit. Yeah, call me when you get that video. That's made up. Shit. That, the last thing I heard Wack say, yeah, that's made. Regarding said, the last thing I heard her say was, I give Nate credit because they everybody killing, they still standing. That's so, what I say. So where Always, the, where the, you know. Mm-hmm. You got to remember, I watched Hoover's put down the blue bandana and say. We don't get along with Crips, Bloods, or Power Rules. Our bandana is orange. We Hoover criminals, not Crips. We every everybody. What kill year it. are we talking? I Shit. seen them do it when 70s. I noticed it. In the seventies. No, I when 70s? I when I really noticed it was like eighty nine when I start going in the system. Mm. So I'm like, hold on, these motherfuckers. Okay, we, we Power Rules. Or we don't get along with the Crips. Whatever, whatever. Cool. These motherfuckers are saying we don't get along with Crips. Paw rules, bloods, and we beefing with some of the essays too. And you were impressed. I said they're not gonna last. Mm. I look up a uh, ten years from then, think I'm locked down with uh mm. rat five yeah. nine. We mm. another ace rat. Right? Rider. And they're getting bigger. Ten years later, I'm I'm doing time in prison, they getting bigger. I look up today, they're even bigger. So I gotta respect them. Mm. Like most people wouldn't have survived that. Every block you turn on, and we ain't going to talk about the internal beefs they got with each other. It's no, everywhere. As soon as you leave your neighborhood, everything's the enemy, mm-hmm. including the police. How do you survive that? Right. And I just, when it comes to the streets, I had to keep it real. Like, yo, mm-hmm. that, can't, nobody... There's nobody else that can claim the fame of that. That we turned on everybody. We don't get along with nothing and survive. Mm. Just real shit. I mean, I call a spade a spade, bro. Like a lot of people, if it ain't in favor of them or what they doing or whatever, they downplay it. If I see some shit that's respectable, I'm, I'm going to respect it. When did you get put on the hood? I mean, I've been from the gang since I was seven years old, bro. So you, that's all I know. So you didn't have to get jumped official, in? Official, official, like backyard was 16. Really? 16. How was that? Over there. Mm. How was it? Two man. How long did it last? 107 seconds. For real? That's a long one. Even 107. How was it? Did you sustain any injuries? I was used to it already. So all we do is fight. Mm. Growing up, that's what we did with our brothers and sisters, our cousins. We fought. But you know what? You hear something different in his music. We need to pull up bigger picture. You hear a message. It ain't to, it's not to the promote it. You know what I'm saying? Like pushing the bullshit, dissing motherfuckers, and none of that type of shit. Uh-huh. I ain't with that kind of shit. You don't like, you wouldn't sign somebody who was talking shit about other people? Nah, other I, gangs? I, don't, I really, I'm not with it. I, I'm not. I mean, you know, if something spark up, something sparks, and he got to say something back, cool. But, uh, Man, bring the shit, bro. We oh, you want me to pull it up? Yeah, bigger picture. It just came out. They probably got two. Th- that shit's moving. Man, bigger picture visual out now. I mean, 200, I mean, 260,000 views. First video. We All got right. more. We one got month. more views. Views than some people. Mm-hmm. Who? Uh, more than who? Who are you taking shots at right now? Huh? Who are you taking shots at? I mean, whoever don't got those views, he's a new artist. <laughs> Whoops. You know. Um, we don't know who the Tony, by the way. Oh yeah, yeah, I was yeah, gonna yeah, ask you about that. that. Is, yeah. Let's definitely I was talk, talk about, to you that. about that. Who, yeah, that was who, that was yeah. a subliminal he was shooting. I wasn't feeling that at all. So you're not feeling the Texas gay? Uh, no, nah, bro. He can't. He can't speak for. LA was gay he politics. really from claiming? He, he from Texas though, but you can't. What he claiming it? I guess so, but you can't speak for LA gay politics, bro. But, okay, so the land. on the on the show the other day, I didn't I, watch I had that a, shit. No, but bro. I had an epiphany, which is that I thought you was fucking with me because he had a cream. Max O'Cream is a Texas based. Who's uh, Maxo, uh, Hoover? He from Crip. Hoover. Yes, but he fucked with the Hoover from over Texas. Here, I called him. He said, "That's some Dallas shit." And he's from Houston, so he was saying that it, that ain't going down over here. So it's not like that's normal Maxo everywhere really in Texas. Every time I see him, he 
he would um he would Hoover smile here. I gotta watch some more shit with the OG Percy guy because that's who uh who? that's who yeah, he certified does, he, him. He, he, he goofy too. Huh? I don't know OG him. He's like an older gang dude. Out he from out here? No, no, he's no. from out there. Well, I know who he is. He's from out there. But he he's got some interviews and he stuff. I gotta watch. Dude, some he of did it. that. Do he dibble and dabble or something? No, he 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 stamped uh. He, he used he, to fuck with Maxo. Fuck no, Maxo oh, okay. was solid. He did. I ain't never seen Maxo do no bullshit. Yeah, with the other Max, nigga. Maxo never ain't in question, but the other dude. The other you dude, saying he stepped that? The, then, yeah, that's look at OG that's Percy issue. interview. OG per. This he has interview clips about this. He addresses California Hoover saying his Crip set is fake on Fig Munity. See, look, they're deep in the. Oh, the game shit. Right they spelled No Jumper Reacts Who weird. Who said that? <laughs> t Real said that? I don't know. Or somebody else on the show, maybe. I'm not sure. There. Yeah, they in some freaky shit down there. Charleston White versus OG Percy. All right, so he's out here doing battle. Look at that. People are already doing live streams about Esbon. Yeah, I didn't realize he was really dead. Fucking crazy. But yeah, I, I gotta uh, I gotta watch it. But I guess he, yeah, man. pull up bigger picture. I want you to check it out, bro. Okay, yeah, we do have that loaded up. What about OG Percy Gay Crip? Yeah, look, OG Percy speaks on openly gay Crip Tony Wilrich. Whoa. So he saying he cool with it? I think he he authorized it. He no, said, that ain't no. <laughs> oh, not so. good. All right, here we go. Bigger picture, Young Magnificent. The niggas you look young there. They real, we ain't feeling them. <laughs> I like it. Nigga, we my shit. Like Man, I don't want y'all kids game bang. I don't want y'all businesses. We don't want. We don't bang. want that. We don't want the kids doing nothing. We did. That's your mission. Yeah. Straight up. Keep these kids off the why street. Why you think? Why you think I open the studio up for everybody? True for the trenches and the youth, man. Right. Um, who do you feel like you're influenced by? Nipsey Mo three. Oh, see, I thought you said he was only signed for a month, but it says signing to WAG 100 in the title of the interview that he did 10 months ago. That was signing. Oh. oh. We just released this shit. Okay, so that's the first record we that you put out? On though? July 16th. Why it took you 10 months to put out a record? He had to get his project when he was comfortable with it. Oh, okay, so the whole project's done. Yeah, I mean, whole three project projects out. are done. It's out. The EP okay. out. The EP's out. He came out on Damn. July 16th, 7th, 16th. Most nice. projects done on the way. That's what's up. Next, I'm, uh, we got him. Um, Kevin Gates, Blueface, <clears throat> on the joint. True Car on the hook. We're going to shoot that as soon as Gates get back in town. Uh-huh. Damn. We need to make that a no-jumper exclusive. Let's do it. I would love that. Let's do it. Let's do Straight it. Straight up. Yeah. Then we can probably do an interview with Gates. You been around Blueface yet? That's my dog. I just seen him at court. <laughs> Kevin Gates' interview would be insane. What, what, what did Blueface have court for? I don't know. That's uh, probation here. <laughs> for what? For the shooting thing? No, no. I'm done with that. That's over. Beat that. What the fuck? That's crazy. Yeah, that's my dog. Blue Lawyer threw them gloves on it. Beat another case. I let boom by yay. Shout out to Gang. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to my dog, man. Yeah. It was a pleasure opening up for Big Bro. Yeah, he, he Gang let him come open up for him. That was big. So what's your perspective on Milk? Before he told you that he wanted you to help get him on the podcast, what did you think of him? I don't really know him. I don't know. You before know Before that, I mean, before that, it was like, I ran into him a couple times back in the day, and then it was like, I respect what you're doing. You're always trying to have a movement. You ran into him where? In the set. Okay. Yeah, like when he, when, when he street, was younger. He's official, yeah. He's officially from the set. I don't know. I mean, I don't know a situation along the lines. I was I was respecting his movement and shit, you know, supporting it. But it's cool but though, listen. He made that little, and that threw me off. But listen, That's listen. You don't get mad at cats like that. You just remember. Hmm. Because when the tables turn and he needs you for something, he's going to reach out. You just give him back what he gave you. Right. Make a or, about him. You might show him how it's supposed to be, but we what we what we not gonna do, cause it ain't it wasn't for that. Our reach out was really to really genuine, genuine and yeah. round. I'm supporting him. I thought he was supporting him, but I mean, shit, maybe we was wrong. It is what it is, you know. Because his respect for him as a Hoover should have been greater than his distaste for you. That's just how I see it. And you. I ain't, I don't really know the dude. <laughs> I, don't I know. was defending you. Besides interviewing him, I don't really know him that well either. I was. I don't even know why y'all got into it. Yeah, what the fuck is y'all problem? Yeah, I don't like. What the <laughs> fuck? I don't. I don't. All I remember is he came up to the old spot allegedly. He has this thing where anyone who shows him love, he'll like initially embrace it and be like, "Oh yeah, we're cool." And then at some point, he realizes that he can make money and gain more clout by dissing that person. 
So he switches up on everybody that he becomes cool with or develops a relationship with. And he'll like invent reasons in his head. He's kind of like deranged, I think. He has this like weird. So you guys were cool person. Well, we did the interview. And then like a month or two later, I interviewed Crip Mac and I asked him, What do you think of Milk? And he basically said, Fuck him or whatever. And well, they enemy neighborhoods. Right, obviously. But he, you know, said what he had to say about it. But him. that's Crip Mac, that wasn't you. Exactly. But then Milk Milk got all bent out of shape and just started talking all this crazy shit about me. And then so every, it, was, but, it really but, ain't nothing. But think yeah, about it. If, yeah, if it's, Milk it's, was that cool ain't with even me, personal. if Milk was cool to, with me, it's whatever. Like he, it would just be like, oh, we're cool. But instead, he hates on me. He's probably got millions and millions and millions of YouTube views off of hating on me. That's like way more attractive to somebody like him who's kind of sick in the head. You ain't got more YouTube hate views than Wack One Hundred. Mm, no, I don't fuck know. no. I can show you some videos that are trashing me that have like a million views. You got that, bro? I got. Seven million videos yeah. hating on me. Prove it. We need a study done. It's definitely. Uh, go, go, gadget, white team for no jumper. <laughs> study who got the most hated on views, Adam or Wag 100. So I got a question I've been wanting to ask you that I've never asked you. Um, if, it's, if it was somebody you could work with, do a song with, who would it be? Right now? Whoever you say, he's going to make it his life's mission to make it happen. No, I've never asked that. When I first heard him rap, he was a cross between Rod uh, uh, Rod Wave and oh, Mo3. Where's that, Momo? Rod Wave? Rod Wave and Mo3. And I'm a Rod Wave fan. Mm. He dope as fuck. Okay. Right? Um, and uh, I never got a chance to meet Mo3, but I'm a Mo3 fan. Mm -hmm. Right? Rest in peace. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Um, shout out to uh, I would have to say it would have to be the Empire up there that did the Mo Three project. I wonder if, if Mo Three would have fucked with Tony Woolrich. They're from was the Tony same, Woolrich? same city. Uh, no, oh, the dude, that's the dude. <laughs> that's why I'm like, Mo from <laughs> Dallas. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I'm like, I wonder if they I'm were if they were like, homies. The what did they find that dude though? Who even found that dude? Uh, I hate that it's taken as an anti-Hoover thing where people think that we invented this guy out of thin air to make the Hoovers look bad. For the record, Crib Mac and, and, and Brick Baby agreed to interview him. They thinking, shouldn't have did it, though. Thinking that he was just a gay crib. Five minutes before the interview, he's like, oh, yeah, I'm from Hoover. Oh, oh man, I'm a Hoover crib, yeah. So that was not, like, the plan. And also, I had almost nothing to do with this, for the record. Crib Mac cost some flack for that. Handing him sandwiches or whatever. <laughs> the sandwich was crazy. Like, why do you even have an oh, extra no. sandwich? So, so listen. <laughs> so, if it was somebody you could work with, <laughs> I got a few people I would like to see you work with. That's what I was gonna say. I, no, me, but I'm really saying, but somebody, you, somebody, it had to be between. Cause it's shit. It's a tie out there with them. Young boy, raw wave alert. Mm. NBA young boy, that's doable. It's called a stunner. No, you Rod struck Wave, out on the last Rod time. Rod Wave is uh, one of my favorites. Yeah, last Rod time you tried Wave. to make a <laughs> and young boy. I fuck with Dirk. Hey, yeah, you, I think. But those it? two, yeah. Last time you tried to do a young boy feature, it didn't work out so good. I got the feature done, <laughs> but the politics at the label was a little. And it really wasn't us. It's supposed to be bigger than the politics. No, no, no. It wasn't us. Whack 100? No, no. You got to remember, it's kind of like. all politics. How could I give? It's like, like Ford versus uh, Chevy, mm -hmm. right? You know, we built the car. But internally, you got these motherfuckers got a beef been going on 20 years. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of like the label. I, the, the label the label literally told me whack is love. But it's some other shit that then went on. I wish you would have did this another way. So, you know, we're going to get that right. Oh, yeah. And, uh, you know, at the end of the day, that's Dirk the NBA. Wave, though. Yep. Um, NBA young boy, Dirk Rawway. You know, I, I like those. I like those, yeah. but it, it's a few more cats that I would want. I, I would love to see you work with um, Jacquees. Yeah. On the R&B flip? Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. Or Eric Bellinger, or if not both. Um, I would love to see you work with Kodak. Yeah, that's that's one I'm Cause he, on. Because the shit he says is on the level of the yeah. shit you say. 6'9". No, no, hold on. <laughs> talking about you know, talking about. Out, no, talking about. I can hear him with you. I ain't gonna lie. Call that. I always forget the homie. The homie from Houston. You know what I'm talking about. I, I don't know why I forget his name. Travis Sauce, Scott. Sauce Walker. Sauce Walker. Mm. I would love to see you work with Sauce Walker 
Walker. Sauce, you got my number. You got some time. Sauce Hit me Walker. up. Um, Jacquees. How you gonna hard R Sauce Let's Walker? Put it together, man. Jacquees. Am I here? Is my uh, mic on? <laughs> Kodak. Like you can't even hear me. <laughs> Uh-huh. Jack Weiss and Eric Bellinger one day. And Eric Bellinger. Those I would love to see you work with them. <laughs> yeah. those, those people. How are you going to do the hard R on Sauce Walker? And I want, huh? Sauce Walker. <laughs> Saucer Walker. Sounds Sauce Walker. Great. Saucer that's Walker. The homie. That's the homie. No, I yeah, fuck with Sauce something. Walker. Let's and, and, I would love to, and I would love to see you go in with, uh, with, uh, with Hitmaker, with Young Bird. The and yep. off the East Coast, Fabio. Fabio Foreign? Yeah. Yeah, I fuck, with, I fuck with the boy. I fuck with the boy. You know. So we're gonna get yeah. this um shout out to Runchy from Grape Street. That's my nephew. Yeah, shout out my dog Rush. Um love him to death, right or wrong. I don't give a fuck who is with. I'm always with him. He um made the Kevin Gates feature happy. Mm. Got this song, song hot as fuck. Kevin Gates, matter of fact, I don't know if Gates pushed you to come up with your line. Kevin Gates says some shit in that song, bro. Have you ever heard somebody say something, whether a speaker or rap song, whatever, that made you sit out and kind of like it got you emotional, but it was like an emotional thing, not a crying emotional, but it just like it was like a dagger in your heart. It was so real. That motherfucker Kevin Gay said, I gave you bitch ass niggas my all, and all I got was pain from it. Ooh. Fuck you me asshole, up. Bro. <laughs> That's hard. <laughs> he turns around on his verse and responds and says, nah, I got some loyal, loyal enemies loyal and homies. some disloyal homies. Shit crazy. Okay. Right? So that song. Flipped it on him. Yeah, that song. And then True Carl on the hook, Blueface killed his verse. So it was like, we're going to shoot that. Um, the reason why that song is that important now, because the way this EP is performing, Young Magnificent EP is performing. If I shoot that, then I'm able to put that song on all their platforms, which will drive more attention to him. Mm. So now Kevin Gates fans will be able to hear him. Blueface fans will be able to hear him, mm. which will drive them to his new music. Mm. So, you know, it's, it's a build, it's a formula to it. You got to know how to do it, but it's working. I like it. Would you do a song with Blueface's Baby Mama? Stewie remix? I'm working on a remix right now. I just sent it Who's to Who's going to be on it? Some other moms? I, I just sent it to QCP. I want Blueface want a female on it. Really? But see, you know that song. I do. Why do you know that song? Because it was sort of viral for how bad it was. It was viral for how bad it was? <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, that's. I hate to break it to no, you. I'm I, I don't know you, if bro. I'm the first person telling you this. I'm asking you. What's the name of the song? I mean, it went viral the other day because her son was telling, him, telling her how bad it was, right? So the comments, what are they saying? That it was bad. I don't know. That's kind of like why I brought it up is because it was like I was, I was seeing so if I could make him laugh because it's it stupid. Be they ran it up. <laughs> yeah, they running that motherfucker. How, many, how up. many views do you think it got right now? I don't know. Let's check it yeah, out. It's, it's in the million. What's her name? Jaden. You you know you run person Jaden. Your name is Jade. Jaden Smith. No, Jaden Alexis. Jaden Alexis. Yeah, Jaden Alexis. Music video. You like Taylor Swift? Oh, shit, she got a new one, too. Workout. Yeah, I was there for that one. Oh, I didn't know that she had a new, Let me see. A new track. What, what does it got? How many? She got half a million on Workout, and then she got 792K on Stewie. Somebody like it. Why was it uploaded to a random channel, Rolling Sounds? That's blue. Oh, well, shit, that's. What is Rolling Sounds? Somebody like it, brother. Hmm, I guess so. Well, I'm gonna have to check out workout as well. Where where bigger picture at? Three hundred, two something? Uh two fifty or something, yeah. Two sixty. Next song coming out is called Gang Bang. Gang Bang. I, I thought think you, that one's gonna run well. What what, what uh what's be. what's the subject matter like? He's uh he's giving a description of what it's like. He's, of what it's like to get put on, the shit you go through, the trouble you get in, what goes on in jail, your homies telling mm-hmm. on you, you getting out being hard headed. Not listening, you end up having to leave town, go out of town. Now you get out of town before you know it because you hustle on the block. Here. Now you didn't turned out the block. It's giving a whole fucking description it's from of what gang bang brings from start to finish. And finish mm. is starting over again. It ain't no finish. Damn. It's an ongoing yeah. cycle. Listen, you know, I'm not a gang banger. You do know that, right? I don't know if I believe that. 
I'm not. You know the difference. Real shit, I'm being real right now. Okay, yeah, yeah, what, what's the difference in your mind? Okay, when I was gang banging, that's what I committed to. The crip was the enemy. Mm-hmm. Period. You know, Ice-T got a line in colors that said, death was my set, guess my religion. Colors, right? Mm-hmm. And when you brainwash yourself, because your block is telling you, young age, them niggas is the enemy. They the reason why this person gone, this person gone. Mm-hmm. Right? They ain't telling you the other shit going on. Then that's that's your mission. Right? Um, I'm from where I'm from. Mm-hmm. I'm going to always be from Esau, Pacoma, Paru. I'm going to always be original baby gangster. That's what it is. But I don't wake up hating somebody in blue. I don't care about where you're from. If that was the case, I wouldn't have did the business with him. I wouldn't have did it with Blueface. That doesn't restrict me. I'm going to first greet you first and foremost as a man, mm-hmm. right? And it's probably a great chance I'm going to know a lot of your homies. I didn't did time with all of them, so on and so forth. But I don't, I don't gang bang. Like I don't, I don't. That's not my desire to um, eliminate the Crips. Eliminate. That's not what that's about. Um, I got Crunchy that I just shouted out. He's from Grape Street Watts, your mm-hmm. Crip. Um, Deco from Eight Nine East Coast. Blue from Insane Crip. You know, it's a, it's a lot of cats that I love like brothers that I will go to sleep around that I, I trust my family in their hands. Just real shit. Pitbull, Pitbull from Harlem 30s. That's my only daughter's personal security, mm. right? So I'm not a gangbanger. I don't see it like that. Okay. Uh, your boy, he's a gangbanger. Who? Well, he's a fake gangbanger. Who? It's like Crip Mac. Yeah. Crip Mac. Yeah, because he still expresses his hate towards other neighborhoods. Oh, that's I important think he to him, was right? Subliminally trying to say something about you. No, about the something that he been saying. But he got whooped on. So if you, if you pay attention, he don't he don't he speak highly now. He say the Hoovers. Well, but you bring a gay Hoover on. What is you subliminally saying, bro? Is yeah, they okay. to say that uh, sexual he, word that you be saying. He like, didn't know that that dude was claiming to be Hoover at all until minute, right before the interview. The minute he seen that, he should have shut it down. Yeah, that's far to the field. Also, he knows that we don't want him saying those words on camera with no jumper. So but if you, you haven't him. heard him say any of the sn type stuff, it's probably mostly because we kind of told him like, hey, you think that's you think so? No, if he told no. him that, I'm he, pretty sure he yeah. says it in his private life when he makes his own well, little. He probably in private videos. life, but even even when he's not around, no jumper. Oh really? He, he, he don't, don't say have, that he anymore. Don't have videos saying that no more. Hmm. He went to jail. Met up with the boy. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. Got put down. Oh, you see yeah, the Jap uh, five fight? Yeah. Scared him straight. Yeah. Now, if you feel me, now it's all all love, but then. That sexual word that you used to say, you come on here with a gay ho- Nah, I'm not. It's just a nigga like me. That's how I'm paying attention to it. You subliminally saying something? Or- but that wasn't, he didn't conceive of that idea. That was okay. like the it was the OG Percy thing was going viral. So then Flacco set it up, the interview. Flacco. And nobody you, knew that he was saying he was you a motherfucker who- from North Dakota? Do- starts stirring up <laughs> politics. <laughs> well, that's a great question. You know what I'm saying? No, that's fair. That's just real shit. Like, I don't know, but it is what it is. But we're going to move forward. I got um, Game's next deal. Game's going to be on Cash Money. Can I ask you a question? Cash Money, West. There's a video that's uh-huh. been going viral. What's video? Of you. Me? Allegedly. It's called Michael Jordan Goes Off and Stops Wack 100 and Charleston White from Fighting. Now, here go the thing. What the hell is this video? Now, here go the thing. I encourage no, everyone wait, wait. to go watch it. Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Let's clear some up. Because this is going to tell me if you a real motherfucker, you's a bozo motherfucker. Okay. I talked about that video and told people about that video. How long ago? I told them on Clubhouse probably about when this happened, about a month. So this is re- this actually came out a month ago? Listen. Okay. The video been living since 2015, 2016. Okay. I heard now, I old. want you, did you watch the video? Yeah. What about that is a lie? I mean, that what was what What about the title that be... you just read is a lie? It, that did appear to be what it was, no, but no. I also just I couldn't no, comprehend no, 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 that no, no, this no. ever could happen. In okay, a so let me years. ask you another question. This bozo Charleston White. Right. He has a very distinctive voice, right? Okay. You know what he looks like, right? Yeah. Is there any representation of Charleston White in that video? Well, let's just watch it because I haven't seen it in a couple of weeks. Now remember, this is a Floyd Pacquiao fight. Charleston White didn't come to be till 2019, 2020. Right. It's 2015, 2016. This whack by itself. So this was out of this was a uh, we coming off the floor seats backstage oh so it's at we the we coming off the floor we coming off we all on the floor coming off the floor 
Okay. Do you see or hear a Charleston White? I mean, I'm going to have to watch it. To watch it. Put the fucking headphones in. I got the headphones in. Tell me if you see or hear it. Anywhere. I'm more interested in the Michael Jordan part I'm than the Charleston White happened. part. <laughs> but we're going to clear this up because Charleston Clout chasing on my name. There's no doubt in my okay, mind. Okay, right here is where it seems Michael Jordan seems to be the guy in the white shirt, right? That's Mike. This is a bad video quality version. That's Mike. That's security. That's me to the left. Ooh, that's Mike to the left. Ain't no Charleston White. Charleston, Charleston White didn't even exist to us in the media 2015, 2016. Let's keep it real. Of course, yeah. Okay, this is the Floyd Pacquiao fight. Yeah, that's too long it's ago. It's 15-16. That video was less exciting than I remembered it. Now, I come out. We on the floor, me and my wife. Uh huh. We come out the we come out the seats, right? That's why Mike's there. We all exit. You on that floor? We exit the same route. I turn around. I look behind me. I hear a bunch of scuffling. I'm like, damn, what the fuck is that? I see a white dude in the suit. He's deboing motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. Clear the way. Get out the way. Clear the way. Throwing the forearm, right? Mm -hmm. So when he get like five steps to me, I turn on him. Hey, homie, you're not finna go through me. He stopped. He got a gun in his holster. I said, if you go for it, I'm going to take it mm -hmm. and break your motherfucking jaw. My exact words. To a random white guy that was trying to walk aggressively through the crowd. He's already been moved by 20, 30 people. Okay. Now, the security guard from this white dude, four people behind him, comes Michael Jordan. Uh huh. I'm zoned in on the white boy with the gun. I'm making sure he don't reach. I don't give a fuck about who this is. I hear Michael, Mike saying, hey, brother, what's the problem? My wife is telling me, is Michael Jordan trying to talk to you? I'm focused on this white dude with the gun on his hip. Uh -huh. Right? He got any flinches and I'm on him. So Mike say, what's the problem? What's the problem? I said, listen, I'm a man like you a man. Either you're going to walk behind me or you're going to go around me. But he not coming through me. We're going to tear this motherfucker up. Okay. Mike said, if you listen to it, you're right. We're going this way. And he walked around me. That's all it was. Wow. I didn't have 10 niggas with me. It was me and a female, my wife. She's okay. a female. No Charleston White. Didn't even exist. Pull up Floyd Mayweather, Pacquiao fights. Charleston White didn't come to be to the Corvette, Corvette little dude paperwork came We didn't out. know about him until the pandemic. 2020, that's what I'm telling, yeah. telling you. But he clout chasing. But we do know his bitch ass was crying the other day. You seen them pictures I put up <laughs> of the bald head? You see? Oh, yeah, yeah, Said yeah. you got to let it go, bro. It's over with. Right. Got to come on home. Yeah. You think he should start rock, then, rocking then, the baldy like Wack 100? And, and, no, then I hear you talking about um, Sexy Red. What's he saying about her? He was talking about her hair. How you talking about Sexy Red hair? Right? And yo shit, you patches and pie pie around this motherfucker. Well, we can critique need... how women look, even no. though we look like no, no. shit, right? You cannot talk about this. For one, she's a young lady. Why your bitch ass even speaking on her? Because she, she winning? Because oh. she winning? This is a young black woman that's winning. And this motherfucker, because he has nothing else going on, all he, can, all he can do is, if you're winning, he'll say something about you. What did she say to him? If Sexy Red tried to sell you some pussy for 10 grand, would you pay it? I don't think she would ever do that. You don't think she would charge no, you? Or I you don't think, think she would sleep with you? She's communicated <laughs> with me on social media. I don't know. I don't think she would approach me like that. I think I if anything, her. I she would her. approach me I want to go to Pound Town, but I'm just and kidding. And we would probably have a conversation about music or, okay. you know, something like that. Look at this stand-up guy. Why, you? Uh, is she not? Is she an adult or is she a minor? No, she's an adult. Oh, so you want to do a plug talk section with Sexy Red? Yes. That'll be great. I'm going to reach out to her. Oh, my God. Sexy Red. Hit my DM, tap in. You want to do something with your own hey, plug talk? we got something in common. What? We both had chlamydia. <laughs> I can't deal with this, this motherfucker. Right. Right. She said she so had, listen, she let, let's, get back, let's get back to it. She might have had more than me. Yo, listen, man. Tell the people something about yourself. Tell them where you come from, what you're about. Man, Tell I don't rap, I speak the been. truth, man. You know um, what I'm saying? Um, I am everything I go what through. What you reaching for? I'm reaching for success. Everybody want to be rich. I don't want to be rich. I want to be wealthy. You know what mm. I'm trying to. It's too much. Too many people to take care of. As far as where I come from, that background is. It's either make it out of, or you don't. And if you don't, you know where you're going. You're gonna end up in there with the homies, or you're gonna end up down there with the homies. That's real. 
That's, mm. real, that's some real so, shit. What are your hobbies? Music. Outside of music. Outside of music. Ball. Ball. Ball is life. I play ball. That's about it. Play ball. I like to write, so, you mm. know. I spend a lot of my time writing. Writing and reading. I'm What's on, the tattoo on the, the side of your face, sir? Speaking of that, yeah, I just went and filed them papers, man. He put his wife's first, middle, and last name on his no face. So that's all, that's the whole thing right there? First, middle, and last oh, yeah. name. Okay, it's multiple lines. But I just couldn't see it with the papers beard. in, though. He tried to cover it up with the beard. Oh. <laughs> you cut that. So what, you getting divorced? Yeah. Why? She sent them papers back fast as fuck. What'd she do like, that you want to get rid of her? Yeah, what do I went file papers, man? What'd she huh? do? She mailed them back. Oh, what did she do? What'd she do what? what? Why'd you want to divorce her? Man, it's too much. I done had guns put out on me behind you. Like you I saw stepping this shit. What? You betrayed what? you know, you betrayed your best friend type shit. Like, nah. You think? <laughs> hey, D sent you a pizza. <laughs> He didn't pay for it? How much? Send, put, bring it in here. AD sent the pizza. He sent you a pizza. But it's probably not AD. It's probably Bullshit. a troll. Who no. But it's probably like a fan who like used his name to send it, right? Nah. Let me call the fuck in. Let's call. We got to call. <laughs> Say, did you send us pizza? We got to call, bro. The delivery man. Is he seriously hold waiting on, for, for money? Hold on. You just said no? Get out? Oh, man. What are y'all doing like that? <laughs> oh, he's right here. Wait, someone ordered it? Who? Oh. But you think you don't think it's Wait, from... You got to pay for the... Hold on. We got to see. It's bro. not from him or someone... We going to see. What the fuck? Come on, man. I got it. Come on. Yo, let's get the Domino's on, bro, guy on the here. podcast. Hey, come on here. Oh my God! Oh, shit. Look at this motherfucker. Hey, nephew, what up, bro? I got Domino's Pizza dude at No Jumper. You got what? Domino's Pizza, and the motherfucking delivery came from you. I, Domino's Pizza, whose name is on there? <laughs> I swear to God, AD, I love you. Listen, listen. Thank you. AD, listen. Listen. Listen, AD. I swear to God, you know me and you don't gangbang, but listen, AD. On Paul Rule and everything it stands for, Domino's Pizza just showed up. On the fingers, answered the door. He right here. They said we got two pieces. Bro, is his name on this motherfucker? Yeah, it's right here. I, wait, it says Armand Douglas. What the hell? You think? <laughs> I'm in here live with Adam right now, bro. What the fuck? I think t Rail running the play. <laughs> wait, wait, that wasn't me. <laughs> t Rail running the play. Hey, I just picked my son up. I'm about to send you, bro. <laughs> I'm, fin I'm finna send you the motherfucking receipt right now, bro. Send me the receipt. Yo, why Adam think that you scared to do an interview with him? What the hell? What the fuck? I now, see, Adam, I did this right now, AD, because earlier he had that rah-rah shit. Now he hear you on the phone, he <laughs> over here like a buster. Buster <laughs> Wuster. Look at you. Oh, my God, I'm not going to say anything. He ain't going to say anything. Look at him. <laughs> Hey, hey, yo, listen. Y'all zoom in on this shit. This is real deal shit. This shit going up on IG. Where the fuck is Remo at? Is he at the wrong? I'll zoom in on that. I don't think our cameras are good enough to see it anyway. No, 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 no. I want to, no, no. Oh, the address? Yeah. But no, nah, we can, we can, white, don't fucking crumple it up, scary motherfucker. <laughs> Black it out. All right, man, this shit crazy. I'm going to send you it because you already know the address. This scary motherfucker. He think you'd have forgot the address to your old job. Thanks for the pizza, AD. <laughs> you heard him? Thanks what? for the pizza, AD. What? He over here whooping, talking about, he said, I'm whooping their ass. This nigga talking crazy over here, bro. I don't know what's going on. Nah, bro. Hold on, bro. I'm going to send this shit to you right. This is wild. <laughs> Fuck it. 
Well, you don't eat pork. Well, I, I don't know why I be thinking you Muslim. You ain't no motherfucking Muslim. <laughs> shit, there goes some pizza, man. God damn, this shit is crazy. What the fuck? Yo. <laughs> You think he, like, that's... The uh, yay, bro. All right, I'll put it in perspective. When we were on Melrose, the cops, or all the pizza places in the area at some point figured out that you couldn't deliver pizza to us because the fans kept Same ordering pizza. pizzas to us. So at a certain point, they figured out that they couldn't do it anymore. So I'm assuming in this area, they're going to have to figure that out as well. Right. Yo. But in the meantime, there's going to be a lot of pizza coming around. That's amazing that you paid for it. I mean, all I on AD, <laughs> all on community cliffs. <laughs> Yo, let's see the pizza. I want to see what what flavors he got you. Oh no, put him up. If he here. got you some freaky flavors, that might be a coded message, right? This looks to be something of a. I don't know what is that? Just tomatoes on it? I don't know. Looks pretty good. You guys want this? Eat this shit. Oh, eat, <laughs> so, eat it right now. I can't have this shit around me. I'm on a diet. Take it. Well, I can't eat it either. He's gonna break out. Well, if if there is, you know who to call. <laughs> oh my God! All right, what are we doing there? Yo, did doing? he keep the chain? This is crazy. What else do we got going on? Here? We got a pizza delivery. Um, this is nuts. We got a pizza delivery. That was actually a really important addition to the podcast, right there. Dude, that was burned out. So all the, yo, the video, because why is the Domino's delivery guy like a 70-year-old fat dude? 70. Did he you looked get him? old as fuck. Did you get him on camera? He had what? He had one arm? The fucking pizza delivery guy had definitely one arm. sent him. Oh! What? Low blow. That's not a low blow. That's just common sense. Um, well, I'm glad that we got to the bottom of the Charleston White video. With the not Charleston yeah, White video. Yeah, that's crazy. I mean, that, that was... That really happened, but that shit like 2015, 2016. It's kind of amazing that Charles. You know, I've been whack a long time, bro. You have. Not a character. I'm just. How do you deal with the fact that whack also means like lame? Um, I'm 46. So you were around before whack was whack. Whack was a name you had to earn. The wax, the killers, the evils, mm -hmm. the psychos, them type of names was earned names. You had to earn that name. Mm. Yeah, so if you've been around, then you know what's happening. What would my hood name be? Yours? Uh, I don't know. Cool Breeze. What's that mean? Cool Blue Breeze. Eyes. Cool Breeze. Or Brussels sprouts. <laughs> Where does this come from? Why? Because your hair with your beard reminds me of a fucking Brussels sprout. Or you know? coconut. <laughs> I think I look pretty good. What? We ain't talking about what you look you like. You think I should get another hair transplant? You got a hair transplant? I got two of them. So you like Charleston White? Did he get one? No, he needs. So you like Donald Trump? The, if he went to get a hair transplant, they would laugh at him because there's too much to transplant. It's gone. Hey, nobody caught that but me, huh? What? The pictures. What that shit went crazy. What? Oh yeah. I froze it. I did. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Yo, he's gonna get me back with something. Yeah. He's been trying to get me for like two years. He told me he gonna send me to jail. See, I never clapped back at him. He told me he was going to send me to jail. Should I put him on my press list? What, interviewing? I've already kind of like He ain't going to come on, to California. I already smashed on the No Jumper Reacts Network. I already smashed on the Joe Budden Podcast Network. Come Maybe on, Charleston bro. White should be next to take a massive L to the 22-ster. They just pulled down his Instagram. They just shut that down. Do you think we should change the name of this podcast to the 22-ster and the rooster? No, 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 no. no? We ain't playing with the rule like that. Okay, that's probably true. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it has a ring to it, right? 22 stand the rooster. This <laughs> motherfucker crazy. That's man. our hood name for the podcast. It's like an alternate name for the yeah, pod. I you like that? that? I fuck with That's that. pretty cool, right? The 22 stand the rooster. Hey, okay, so next, I, I got to ask you this. Uh -huh. Next week, I'm supposed to interview JT, the bigger figure. What day? I'm not sure. What do you think? What should I talk to him about? I don't know him. Not a big fan of you, right? He clout, he clout you. I don't know the nigga. Who I ain't never he? seen him, talked to him, did no business with him. I don't know him. But he discovered game, right? Fuck. Wait, wait. Oh, he said JT the bigger figure. Yeah. Oh, no, I know JT. Oh, okay. Hustler. He's a hustler. Uh, what did JT got? I think I, oh, I clowned him because of the business deal he did. Which one? His first album with game. He sells to 
Koch Records, Alan Grumblack, mm. does a contract or just write it on a piece of paper for two hundred and fifty thousand mm. dollars. Let me tell you what Alan does. He knows that game is signed to Interscope. Well, Desperado Interscope, right? He waits until they set a date for the documentary and then goes to the stores and books his date. Let me tell you how good this shit worked. The day the documentary came out, he put the album from JT the Bigger Figure he played 250000 for it right on the side of it. What you think everybody was doing? Mm. I did it. I brought the wrong one. <laughs> mm. Allen killed damn near three million the first weekend. Wow. So I always laugh at him because he did the dumb shit. But overall, um, JT's a hustler. Um, I've seen him create networks. Uh, his last work, uh, Africa. He's doing something in Africa. He's making like, films and shit? Films and, yeah. like So I respect his hustle. Okay. We really don't have no problem. I think he just, he didn't like me speaking on that. Okay. But other than that, we don't got no problem. I respect his hustle. Okay. That, that's, 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 a, that's a great interview. Well, that's good to hear. Yeah, I've been told that it's going to be a, a absolute banger. He going to talk and he going to talk his shit. Okay. I, and he's one of those dudes, you know what? He's like a me in the bay because a lot of people don't like him. Mm. But he, uh, he, he's a hustler. He ain't really, he moved by himself. He got his little people. He's a hustler. JT's a hustler. Cannot take that from him. I like it. I have one question for you before we go. What up? What up? What's going on with 6 9 getting arrested? You're supposed to be go- protecting your people, man. First of all, I'm not his manager. I didn't say that. I just said your Second people. Second of all, I do business with him. Third of all, the motherfucker, didn't, he had traffic tickets. He didn't go, he didn't go to court. I have a question also. Someone... <clears throat> Someone yeah. told me that you have hundreds of millions of dollars. Who, me? Nah, no, no, no. No? <laughs> hundreds of millions. A couple hundred thousand, is it? I'm broke. Hundreds of millions. IRS, you told me, I'm uh, broke. You told me an amount that you made off of the one Tatiana song that was pretty shocking. I'm broke. I never told you no amounts. I just told you the amount of different DSPs we had. We're about to call you Nine Figure Whack. No. Nine Figure I'm broke. Not I'm doing finger. bad. That would be sus. I'm doing bad. Um, it's hard out here, bro. Really? It's, we in scary mm-hmm. times right now. Yeah? So you're in conservation mode? Nah, for real. We are. Come on, bro. Look at the fucking interest rates. Um, real estate is kind of because if people start losing jobs, they can't pay you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, music, we didn't have one number one in fucking eight months. Fuck you. Well, Uzi, no, somebody might have just had another number one. Um, well, Gunna had a number one song. Uzi had a number one, one album, right? Yeah. Um, Uzi had the number one album. I think Travis Scott, too, right? Travis just had yeah, one, yeah. so we had we just got that. So, you know, I, I, come on, uh, Adam, you track the music. We don't know what's what with music right now. The fucking tours going on, not selling out. That's right here. You know what I'm saying? It's like, what happened? What what? It's money. You think the fans are just losing interest? No, I just think it's money, bro. Like, you got fucking Beyonce. You got fucking Drake. You got fucking Lil Baby. Um, Moneybag, yo, attempted to go out. I know he's out. I just think some dates got canceled. Ebro said the labels are focused on signing dance hall and Afrobeat and Latin artists, not rappers anymore. That's where the money's at. Interesting. Who told you that? Ebro said it, and it's kind of been going around in the news yeah. today. Which I never know. Well, sense. you know, he bro, he, he works knows. Apple too. He works with all the labels and stuff. So he, doing, he, he works knows. Apple. Yeah, he bro from uh, New York, New York Radio, right? That is pretty wild though, just because there's been so many times. Hot 97. When I go to meet with labels and stuff, and they're just talking about like eight million different underground gangster ass street rappers, and I'm just like, no, this is what your business has turned into at this point. No, you have an urban department, but there's music in Africa has picked up. Really. So what's the interest there? Latin has picked up. Mm. You see what 6 is doing. Right. Fuck American girlfriend. The girlfriend's Latin. My music's Latin. He's winning over there. Yeah. You know what I mean? You got to go where you can eat. You got it. Makes sense. This is a hilarious episode, I'm pretty sure. This shit crazy. We've been doing great. I got a lot of calls, a lot of text messages, people saying, yo, bro, you want Adam? We didn't think it was going to work. This shit's authentic. It's funny. It's real. 
I've been getting great reviews. Just real. Well, the shit. odd couple. Pause. I don't pause. I don't use that word, bro. For a couple of crazy guys. I'm not crazy. Well, we wild. <laughs> wild and crazy. You used to watch Wild and Crazy Kids? I'm not kids? wild. No? I'm wild. I'm normal. I'm wild in. I'm normal. No, you're not. I'm fucking normal. No, you're not. Normal? Normal. You have not had a normal life. What do you mean? You've been wildin'. <laughs> Who? When? In the streets. In the streets. You know I'm bougie, right? Bad and bougie? No, I'm bougie. <laughs> shout out to the Migos. Shout out <laughs> to uh, QCP. Shout out, you know what I'm saying, to my family over there. Tell P you want to have him on the pod. Huh? Tell P you want to have him on the pod. You want to bring P on here? Of in? course. Okay, when bro come out here. Well, we'll just go. We'll you go. just out here. Let's go to Atlanta. We can do that too. Let's go. I'm in the A with Wax. A or uh, Florida. But then you know? I might get roped into your Rico. What Rico? Hmm? The hundred DNT. I ain't got no motherfucking Rico. We ain't doing that. I don't do nothing. Everybody illegal. got a Rico this I don't year. Do nothing not a illegal to have a Rico. Yo, what's, what happened to dude though? Who? The dude who door I knocked on. That motherfucker being quiet. I've been shutting some motherfuckers down, man. I know the feeling. Keep, keep it real. Yeah. Same here. Huh? Not him, but some other people. Who you shutting down? Everybody. Making people quit. You already Nephew know. Them ain't quit. You already know who I'm better than. Uh, no. Oh. They're still doing their thing. Mm -hmm. Word is they trying to buy you out. <laughs> Good luck. You're not going to sell? They ain't got no money. Who ain't got no money? Just kidding. I'm sure they have plenty of money. Word is they trying to buy you out, bro. Well, they can keep trying. Community trying to buy out no jumper. Yeah. When are you gonna start blood muting the clips? No, that puts you in a box. <laughs> he can get away with cub immunity. Right, it's, it's like a cute little reference. Yeah, he can get away with it, but puts you in a box. Okay, I like it. But the homies got a uh, podcast over there in Compton. Who look like it's the Capanellas of the West Side? It's called something I've been seeing. Forgive me if I don't know the name of it, but I've been seeing some clips. Only uh, only Compton podcast out. Too much nobody's no studio in. No, which one? No studio. Shout out Gitchy got it. Yeah, shout out my dog Gitchy. No, nah, no, nah, because Runchy just went over there with his artist. The mm -hmm. artist that Blueface did that song with, um, the little poet, you seen his song? Oh, wait, he was dissing Crib Mac on it? Uh, who was that? Who's that? Who is that artist? <laughs> That's Runchy artist. Okay. No, it's, it's another one. Uh, you want me and Crib Mac to do an interview bad, huh? Oh, that'd be so good. Well, we got to put like a cage in between you? Nah. I mean, he just can't say nothing weird to me without getting took off on. What's he gonna say that's weird? I don't know. Everything he says is weird. Uh, I gotta work yo, out. Uh, yo, what's out. the name of the podcast you went to over there? I, I believe it was the Capanellas. I can't stand in front of this yeah, guy. Yeah, uh, they got two of them, but this one was the one in Long Beach. Uh, hold on, one sec. What? His, that's his artist. That's all. You need to, you need to interview him. The artist's pretty good. Let's go. Check him out. We're going to get him up here. I'm going to it right Hey, now. when Gates back? He here. He, he just, he was in the uh, studio yesterday and today. I, I want to tell him, when could I shoot his scene with a video? All right. I'm, I'm going to take my son to football practice. And then I'm gonna pull up. I'm gonna pull up on him uh, right after that. All right, call me. Let me know. And then, uh, and then we want to bring we want to bring your artist to No Jump. What's the artist's name again? We want to bring him up here. Sean Lee. Sean Lee. That's who the name with Blueface on that joint. I'll give it a review. Let's check, check it, out. it out. Yo, listen. Tell him um, Gates, and I definitely need Gates up here with me and Adam for sure. For sure. Woo. All right. All right. All right that's cool. Let's do it. Uh, hey, hey, look. Huh? Who that? The little, the little, the little Nickerson, little body hunter dude keep calling me. He ready to come on? Oh, he ready to come on? Um, psh, bring him by. Wanna, you want to bring him by the day of the mall? Uh, tomorrow. Let's do it. Let me know. All right, all right, yeah, let's do it tomorrow. Cause then I got, I got, I got a few of our little family that's over there that'll run around with you, that way to keep us yeah. out his hair. And I think, I mean, I, 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 I think you have a great home in TDE, man. What you think? Mm. Man, we can do whatever. Long I'm gonna call Top. I'm gonna check in with Top, and let's set it up for tomorrow. All right, all right, all right love. All right. Right. Hey, you want to do a call? Call Punch and ask him how it feels about academics right now. Do I got punched up? But Punch can't. Be. Yo, you see what you Ackman's saying about academics. him? Ackman. Wow. I had to call him. I called him. He told About I, the scissor thing? Motherfucking right I did. And how was that? I told him, like, some shit you, you can't be playing. He issued with. a little bit of an apology. He was calling her fat. Oof. No, I, I called him. 
Ak, Ak, Ak was going in on SZA. Bro, SZA, the singer. Yeah, the singer, bro. I like singer. I and then lady. He, he's going crazy yeah. on punch, being like, you ain't going to do nothing. I'm coming to L.A. You ain't doing shit. He's like really challenging him to do something. But it's this is wild. the thing. Punch is not, he's a businessman. He, he doesn't want to do anything. I think he's close to SZA. That's business. They may even be related in some way. So he was just reacting and responding. It's not about he want to do anything. Like, stop trying to label motherfuckers like everybody want to do something to you. That ain't what that is. But I'm gonna tell you where he better tread lightly. SZA, body shaming. SZA, you got Beyonces, you got the uh, Megan The Stallions. These type of artists have strong followings. Mm. At least thirty to forty percent of their audience is supported by the LGBT com um, community. He keep on attacking women, they go for it, saying right? that type of shit. And get that community rolling with him, he'll fuck around and have a problem. And Adam, you know how that go. Well, you think that the, a bunch of gay dudes are going to run no, down I, on no, academics? No, no, but I'm, I'm breaking down the fans. <laughs> no, like, in terms of him getting, like, canceled, canceled, you're saying? Yeah, bro. They could you fuck get, deals up. Think and, about it. You get, listen, if you get all three of those movements coming together to support her, because she's a non-problem. She doesn't have issues. She doesn't yeah. fuck. SZA don't fuck with nobody. But he's also she going knows. to Erica Badu, who's kind of a Erica beloved talks figure. talks a little this, shit back. Right, they got yeah, five yeah, years of right, history. Right. SZA doesn't do that. You don't see that's She just delivers great music. Mm. She's like she's like our R&B rapper that has a, 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 a I mean, our R&B um, artist that has a, a Christian artist-like vibe. Like she's... Laid back, she's clean. I'm not sure. I'm cool. Crazy. I'm not sure if the SZA fans have fully like descended upon him, but I feel like That's if, what I'm if I were to say those things about SZA on camera, that it might actually be the worst thrashing that I've ever gotten on the internet ever. Because those that shit, she listen, has so many fans. All that that's an, she's all huge, bro. The three names I just mentioned. Those fans will fuck around. They cross. To be fair, he beefed with Nikki, and it didn't really seem like it did much to him. Yeah, but I mean, that's they but both. That, she's got the biggest army, pretty much. Yeah, but it's rap, and I don't know what Nikki did. Yeah, you're right. Well, Nikki, Sizz Nikki doesn't seem innocent because she's talking Sizz shit back. Don't fuck whereas with SZA nobody. seems, yeah, it's like she don't fuck yeah. with nobody. So he went at her. He's like body shaming and crazy. And I told him, like, bro, what you doing? Dissing, you okay? Dissing her BBL. But he was he was on that liquor. He was on that Hennessy. You can't diss a woman's BBL. He was on that lick. I don't know what she has. Um, I she admitted, she talked about it. Yeah, she's good people, man. She's a great people. I respect her. Yeah, and um, music. you know, I would hope he he chills out. He did though. He, he, kinda, he did a kind of apologize. And he stuff, did. But... I, I talked to him. You know, good luck. I appreciate that. But I don't know, man. I, I, bro, need to stop fucking with that bot. I know when I see him on camera, he has that look. I know when he's loaded. <laughs> you know, his cheeks. I can get tell loose. from his voice. Yeah, his cheeks get loose. <laughs> And he don't give a fuck. His arm starts going this way Cheeks when he talks. getting loose. That is kind of what it feels like, right? Yeah, when you're he, drunk. He be like, I don't give a fuck. I get drunk. I'm like. <laughs> Yo, listen, man. Um, Adam and Wax Show featuring Young Magnificent. Shout out Adam to, and Wax Show. Shout out Gay Tony. Wax and Adam Show. Hey, la. <laughs> deuce, deuce in the root. That's what it was. The deuce, deuster and the rooster. The deuce, deuster and the rooster. And I got the booster. Hey, shout out to the hundred side of the motherfucking trenches. <laughs> and we still got restrictions on Drewski the rat. 5K1. 716 degrees. We're reading that paperwork now. next week. Let's go. Ooh. 716 degrees available on all platforms. Go check it out. We out.